Hello everyone guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Bald Reefer, coming out to today's video, which is Dazza's Fishing Special. Let's go. Okay people, we're at the old brick pits. Um, it's a carp bait. Okay people, we're at the old brick pits. Um, it's a carp lake owned by Julian and his missus. Fantastic place. Um, stopping here for a few days. This is what the reefer boys do when they're not chasing koi. Look at chasing carp instead. Right, let's show you. There's three cabins on the complex, all fitted out, fantastic. All got their own parking and their own fishing. We're stopping at Kingfisher Cabin this time, it's the newest one. Hopefully, we're going to catch some fish. As you can see, the beautiful cabins. This one's brand new. Another view out your front door in the morning. You've got your own part of the lake to each cabin, and then there's a communal area that you can all fish. Okay, so this is the lodge, fishing lodge. Just to show you inside. It's all done very nice. Nice oak kitchen. Got your microwave, your hob, your oven, everything you could need. It's all soft closed cabinets, leather sofa, TV, electric heating, thermostatically controlled. Your dining table and chairs. Let me show you in the bathroom. Lovely bathroom. Nice shower. And this is the main bedroom. Again, all decorated out lovely. It's got its own TV, wardrobe, etc. And then this is the second bedroom. All of them very nice. We stopped here for three nights, five days, and I think it was £350. But check that with um, Julian if you're thinking of booking because it may have gone up since we booked. Lovely. This is what we're using for the hook bait. These are soft like dog biscuits that you can put on the hook easily using the hard normal dog biscuits. Throwing them loose. Do have to wait long again. First cast. Got it straight on his nose. Secret of surface fishing is to get them feeling confident. When feeling confident, then they're easy, easy to catch. Really, 
a nice fish. in a row. See if we can get another one. Or they all get scared off. mirror carp in there as well, and they're all common. And there's a couple of ghosties. You don't see those very often, mate. Couple of big carp down here. Size 10 barbless hook, so it causes absolute minimal damage to the fish. Most of the time, the barbless hooks just fall out in the net. Then even if you them.
for crumbling. Nice bit of stuff. That's a nice double figure fish. Most of them are in here. There's probably 350 to 400 fish in here, up to 20 pounds. He's in your pond, if it was a koi. <laughs> Still pretty lively. Come on. Come on. Beautiful. Let's get that one back. And get a few more. Literally, that was, that was the first cast. <laughs> okay, we're out nice and early today. Feeding the koi, the koi, feeding the carp. Some dog biscuits. They're hungry already. So many fish in here. Just have another look at these fish feeding. There's so many carp in here. It's like feeding fish in your pond. I guess that any beginner will be able to catch carp here. <laughs> well, if I can catch them, anyone can catch them. The secret is catching the big ones from the small ones. Of course, there's an awful lot of small ones in here. If you fish on the bottom, that's all you get all day. Small carp. Another good fish, <laughs> judging by the size of its head when it came up. There were so many fish on the top, there must have been a good 40 or 50. We're really going crackers now, now it's getting a bit darker. See if we can get this one in. This one was a lot lighter looking. I think it's a common. A donkey. Beautiful. Oh, we might even get in the net. Come on. Oosh. Got him. Yeah, that one's got to be 14, 15 pound easy. He's massive. The one I've been after all day. It's 
beautiful big fish. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna get a selfie with this because the missus will have her pajamas on by now. And there's no way she'll be coming out to, to assist. But that is a beautiful fish. Perfect condition. The size of that tail. No wonder he's giving me the run around. Right. Let's get him back. Maybe it's time for one last fish. How many times do we say that? Just looked a big mirror. Had the fish feeding for a while. Got them super confident. There was literally 50 or 60 fish coming up to the top. And then hopefully I've cherry picked one of the bigger ones. He certainly looks a beast. He's gonna take some getting in. Try and steer him away from the rest of the fish. So he doesn't scare them. I might get one or two more then. Oh yeah, another fine. Another bigger fish. Yeah. Put you about my weight a bit this morning. What a beauty. This one looks like an old battler. Biting my finger. <laughs> He's always in a really awkward spot. That's it. Good old Barbara socks. Oh, yeah. That's a nice fish. Beautiful scale pattern, lovely. Looks like he's made out of a piece of wood. I reckon he's probably 11, 12 pound. Let's get him straight back. See if we can get an even bigger one. Just talk to another big fish. Right to the margins. There's a toss-up between who'd get to it first, the duck or the fish. I don't know if the fish got the bait first. I'm trying to keep him out of the reeds on the edge. He's pulling hard, he's a good sized fish. Is yet. It's nose look like a mirror, but you can never tell. Let's see if we can get him this time. Yep. Another beauty. Absolutely perfect, this one. Wow. Like a bar of gold. Beautiful. Somewhere in the region of 10, 11 pounds. For the scale pattern.
absolutely gorgeous. Okay, another fish on. New spot straight away. Instant action. So many fish in here. Looks like a nice common, this one, a bit bigger. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Another good double. Got him. Right, this is a fish I just landed. Beauty. A huge head on it. Huge, thick bodied fish. Just a shade over 14 pounds. Right, let's get her back. I've got Phoebe to catch a carp. Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't want to put this. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There we go. Katie. Very nice. Oh, he's upside down. You'll be fine. Watch yourself. Yeah. That could be funny if I go in. Oh, we're not sexist on this channel. <laughs> okay, just hooked a mirror. I haven't got my glamorous filming assistant with me now, so we're going to have to try and land this one one handed. Fish came straight up and nailed it instantly. Try and tire it out a bit first. Give me the run around. Beautiful fish. Gorgeous scales. Almost a fully scaled mirror. Let's take that look out. No chance of posing with this one. He's probably about eight, eight or nine pound, and I'll get him straight back. Willow, buddy. Sorry, dude, the fish have asked all your biscuits. I'll get you another bag. <laughs> <laughs> 